Uh, hello everyone. Uh, we are uh, from Lex 2019 Group 131 DIY project. So uh, today we will discuss and demonstrate our first DIY project that was made by um, Yasmin Alilah and me. So uh, before we continue with our discussion, let us introduce ourselves uh, first. So uh, my name is Intan Nor Azrin Binti Rusli. My metric number is 197410 and I'm from Faculty of Science. Next. Uh, hello, my name is Fatin Shakila. Um, I'm the a student. I'm from Faculty of Science. Uh, okay, my name is Fatin Shamimi Binti Ahmad Shukur. My metric number is 196783. Um, I'm from Faculty of Science and I'm the a student. Uh, my name is Tao Jia and my metric number is 204517. I'm from the Faculty of Modern Language and Communication. Hello, my name is Nurul Fatiha bin Abdullah Mahmud. My metric number is y 980 and I'm from Faculty of Design and Architecture. Hello, my name is Nur Alia Binti Amran and my metric number is 19743. I am from Faculty of Science in that year. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Narati Karihana Minti Suhaimi. My metric number is 197867. Uh, I'm a third year student from Faculty of Science. Hello everyone. My name is Yasmin Adila Binti Muhammad Yusuf. My metric number is 197282. I'm from Faculty Modern Language and Communication. Uh, I am a second year student. Hello everyone. My name is Nasha Fika Binti Hairul Anwar. And my metric number is 209099. I am from Faculty Modern Language and Communication. Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Shai Manajay Noini and my uh, math number is 195075 and I'm from Faculty of Design and Architecture. Okay, uh, so uh, before we uh, shoot the video, I will tell uh, you guys about the material and tools that uh, we use in this uh, DIY project. Okay. <coughs> Uh, our project for group discussion video two is cat house plus bed. So intern will tell uh, you the materials and tools that we use in this project. Intern, can you uh, see the screen? Yes, I can see. It. Okay, so uh, before we, uh, okay, no. Okay, so uh, I will explain or tell you about the materials that uh, we use in this DIY project. So uh, the first material is we use uh, unused or unbox uh, box. box. Okay, so uh, next is we will use old pillow, old unused cloth. And then next is we will use uh, decoration. So uh, for the uh, so for the tools, we will use uh, cutter and the uh, scissor. And the hot glue gun. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, for the next step, Yasmin uh, will explain about the video. Okay. For the next, um, this, uh, how to make a cat house and bed. I will show you guys how to make it. <coughs> so first, <coughs> so first, uh, use the box. Uh, this one I use a. Uh, an oven box, I buy an oven. So first, um, you have to cut the top of the box using a cutter and then you lay down the box sideways. So the bottom will be at the back, like this. And then uh, for the cat bed, you have to cut another box with the same size with the bottom of the main box, like this one. 
and then you uh, using the all pillow that you um uh, you unused you ne uh, you never use anymore you cut the all pillow using a cutter and then you take the wool inside the pillow and then you glue the wool to the piece of the box using a hot glue gun and then you glue it uh, one by one until the wool fully cover the box and then you cut your old clothes using a scissor and you cover the wool this uh for making the cat bed and then you glue it neatly and tightly using a hot glue gun like this one and then there you go you got yourself a fluffy cat bed so for the inner part of the box you can decorate it with whatever wallpaper that you like for me i use this type of wallpaper so after you're done you insert the bed uh, inside the box uh, like this one and then uh, even my cat has confirmed that the bed i made was indeed fluffy soft and comfortable for him to sleep so this is how the cat house plus bed looks like after it has been decorated like this one so i add some light uh, this is how it looks like after my cat Okay, so that's all for the cat house plus bed project. We can okay. Uh, so after okay, so uh, after we watch the video, uh, what do you guys think about this item? That uh, is it. Uh, this item will be uh, useful. And what is the function of this DR project in uh, our life? So uh, we can start with uh, Fatin Shakila. Okay, as for me, this project is very useful. Uh, and the, uh, all of the material uh, in order to make this cat bed is easy to found, easy to find, which is we can uh, find, uh, we can have it in our uh, own house and at the same time uh, uh, this project also can improve our critical and creative thinking because you know uh, it's quite complicated but at the same time it can improve our uh, creativity so in order to our creativity we can make something that is uh, different or quite uh, complicated like bad cat and yeah, it's also very useful for cats if we have uh, uh, our pets in, in, at our home. We don't have to buy a uh, cat bed outside at, or in the store. That is very expensive one. And we can make it by our own. Okay, that's all from Okay, uh, I agree with Fatin Shakila. Okay, I think this... Uh, uh, the item is very useful because uh, we can, instead of uh, we let our cat um, sleep in the uncomfortable place, so we can create a house for them so that they can sleep in the comfortable way. And I think it also uh, can help our critical thinking so that we can be more creative in creating something. Okay, that's all. Uh, for me, I think this is uh, very useful because uh, it's quite hard for me to find such a big um, cat house, house. So I can design and make it the size that I want and it's really useful for me. Okay, my opinion is uh, this cat bed is very useful because uh, we can use a very low cost, uh, low cost materials or low cost uh, to, to make a DIY products so that we, uh, we can put our cat inside. That's my opinion.
I also agree that this chapter is uh, useful uh, because uh, there's a lot of people that look to pet a cat or a dog so they can use this uh, your project to do a cat pet so they will reduce their cost to buy one at this shop. Okay, for me, I think the cat bed is very useful because we, um, of course, provide shelter to our cats, uh, give them place for playing and chill. Uh, other than that, because this project use waste material, so it can cut costs. And mm, so that's all from me. For me, I think this um, project is very useful for me because I have a cat, so they can they can sleep in it uh, rather than sleeping anywhere, and uh, because uh, we use such uh, unused things like unused ball, unused clothes, and unused pillow, uh, we can reduce the things that we don't want in our home to make it such a useful things. That's all for me. Uh, for me, I think this DIY project is useful because um, you don't have to buy a cat, cat, what we call cat bed at outside. You can save your money uh, with uh, use your uh, recycle the materials. That's all. This uh, DIY project is uh, quite functionable, mostly for people who has pets, any any pets. But uh, personally, for me, uh, it could be useful if I had any pet. Now I don't have any pets, so it's not really functional for me myself. But in overall, it is really useful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, next is uh, how do you think this DIY project will affect your personal life, uh, society, and the environment? What do you think, guys? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, for me, it can uh, affect our uh, personal life, society, and environment because you know, uh, for uh, ourselves, for personal, uh, I think uh, we can cut the cost. Since there is the DIY, we uh, we use the useful I uh, use item, so it can lower the cost. And for the environment, uh, uh sorry for the society, society right? Uh, yes. for the society. Uh, because um, uh, you know there are uh, there are abundance of stray cats outside or stray any pets like dogs and they uh, don't have any shelter at all so we can build why not we can uh, we build uh, the cat bed by our own uh, which is DIY we do it by our uh, by ourselves and we provide them shelter and it's very good uh, and for the environment yeah since it is a uh, waste uh, item so uh, we can avoid from uh, environment pollution and can have green environment. Thank you. Uh, okay, I agree with Fatin Shakila. As for me, it will affect um, our personal life because the material is easy to find because we can use uh, the waste uh -huh. Material, the waste material like cardboard and unused clothes, so that we don't have to uh, throw it away. We can use it to make a recycle recycle thing like a cat bag, and also it also affect the society because I think if uh we manage to do this DIY project, we can enhance other people to do it together so that we can help other stray kids so they have the shelter to protect themselves and to sleep in a comfortable place and for the environment i think uh, because this uh, we use the waste item so 
can help our environment from any pollution, okay, like water pollution and so on. Okay, that's all from me. Uh, I agree with you all. So for this item, it's very useful and functional, especially for the person who have the pets. So I usually throw away all these uh, cartons, but later I will use these materials to make the cat house. Uh, I agree with Patricia Mimi because we can save uh, our environment because this DIY project just use the recycled materials which is a cardboard and the unused clothes. So uh, instead we are just throw that rubbish or disposable rubbish, we can use it, we can turn it into the very comfortable and very comfy uh, bed cats. So automatically we can reduce the amount of the uh, disposable rubbish. That's my opinion. Uh, I also agree with you, but as it has a good impact towards the environment, we can um, use and make and use materials such as box or clothes so that our uh, environment is more clean. And also, it's good impact for the person for the one who have a lot of fat, they can save their money also. Uh, for my opinion, how this DIY project will affect my personal life is um, maybe I can um, touch up my soft skill, make designing things. Uh, and for society, I can uh, maybe we can produce the cat bag for stray cats so that the stray cats can have shelter to stay. And as for environment, uh, of course, we use the materials from waste materials. So uh, we can reduce the um, waste. So that's all. Okay, for me, uh, personally, when I make this project, um, I think it's very useful, uh, especially for my cat, because uh, they finally have a place that they can belong to. <laughs> because my cat, uh, we don't, uh, we don't, we don't know that we don't uh, let them in to our house. They just live outside of our house because my mother is very afraid of cats. So that's why. And for society, I really agree with Patin Shakila when she said that uh, this can help reduce the stray cats in our society, our neighborhood. So, and for the environment, uh, it really helped because uh, finally I can get rid of that box. I can make use of it instead of throw it uh, anywhere and left it work just like that. So that's all for me. Uh, I agree with you all. For me, um, it can be used, recycle, and con conserve energy and save money. That's all. Uh, I also agree with all of you. Uh, I think it is uh, really effective on our personal life. First, because we can uh, save a lot of money for not uh, paying for something from the shop. And uh, it is really effective on society and environment because uh, we, as I remember, we recycle pillows, uh, t-shirts and also uh, cardboard. So that's really good for environment. That's all for me. Uh, okay, so uh, after that, uh, in your opinion, what kind of challenge or difficulties uh, the DIY uh, project? Uh, okay, actually for me, uh, uh, this cat bag is not so dif difficult, but there is some part quite difficult. Uh, for example, the body part is quite simple, but you know, we need to put the carton, carton right? 
from the below? Uh, wolves. Ah, wolves. <laughs> Sorry. So it's quite complicated mm -hmm. because we need to glue it and then uh, paste it on the on the box. Ah uh, yes, on the box and. Now, uh, uh, the other thing is the ear, uh, Pokemon ear, if I'm not mistaken. Pokemon ear, right? <laughs> and then the there is quite neat. Uh, there is quite neat the detail. So, it's quite complicated and maybe it requires much time. Uh. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, as for me, uh, the challenges and difficulties for producing this product it's very, I think it's very difficult lah because it's consumed lots of time. As we as a student, we need to save our time, right, to do our assignment. So it's consumed a lot of time. And also, I think when we decorate the, the our project, I think it's used many material, right, to buy, any, to buy the light to make it beautiful so i think it's costly lah compared to the other DIY project that we uh we discussed last last week okay that's all for me uh for me i think there's no difficult for me so this material is easy to get and we can use our creativity and we can make that into any uh, decoration so it's quite easy for me uh, for me is the challenging challenge is uh, it's take too long to finish it even th even though the materials are easy to find but it takes a long time to do and we have to spend uh, uh, more time to decorate it That's for me. Uh, as for me, it's no difficult is because I have a lot of unused books and unused below so that I can use it for the cat back. That's all. Um, in my opinion, the challenges, uh, of course, is the time consuming, uh, the time that we need to produce this product because it quite take a long time and then uh, for difficulties maybe um, we need to find suitable box to make sure that the cat bag is uh, can fit for our cat like maybe for pers uh, for persons that have a bigger cat might quite uh, need they uh, might need a bigger box like Taoja's cat, uh, your cat is quite big, so we might be in a bigger box. So I think that is the only the challenges. Uh, other than that, to maintain the cat bed because the cat likes to scratch the cut. So to maintain it, quite, it needs uh, good maintenance. So that's all for me. Okay, for me, uh, I think the difficulties I'm having while producing this project is uh, it, it is time consuming. That's why I do it on holiday. <laughs> uh, but it really takes me like, it really takes me like uh, three to four days, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, so um, that's why. But for the decoration part, uh, it really it's quite difficult for me too because I have to think like how do I decorate this how do I make it uh, can uh, how do I make it so we can use it for a long time so that's part of it so that's all for me um for me there's no challenges to do this cat bag because the materials is easy to find uh difficult is maybe um the what we call uh shirt that shirt that you cover cover the the way that the cat wants to sleep or take a nap there's difficult because 
uh, sometimes cat, uh, pee or poo, and then you you change the you you always to change that the shirt. That's all. Uh, okay. Well, uh, in my opinion, um, uh, this DIY project is not really difficult. It just need uh, more uh, time uh, compared to the other projects, like because it it uh, takes a bit uh, more time than others. Uh, but uh, the challenges, I think, depends on ourselves. Like depends how 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 we want to decorate it and how how if, how much effort you want to put on it. Like the one that I saw that Yasmi made has had lights on it, so it was really beautiful and probably she made much more efforts. So it was more challengeable than the others. That's my opinion. Uh, okay, so uh, for for me also, I think uh, this DL project is a little bit uh, difficult to do and because uh, it's need uh, time uh, consuming and uh, so on so uh, guys uh, i think uh, that's all for for our video thank you for your contribution in this video and i hope we will meet again next week with other DIY project so bye bye guys all right yeah, thank, thank you, you Yasmin and Intan. thank you bye. everyone Okay, everyone. Thank you, guys.